What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna make what I like to call the five essential cocktail syrups. We're gonna make the classic simple syrup, the sweet and floral honey, the thick and luxurious gum syrup, the nutty and exotic orgia, and we're gonna end this up with a bold and bright grenadine. This is something I get requests for every week, and even if I know many of you already know how to make some of these syrups, I think it is very important we're all on the same page, especially if you're planning on making some of the cocktails I'm sharing on the channel, because making the same syrups as I am will simply ensure you the perfect balance. Also, for those of you who like to keep the recipes on hand, I've recently launched my Patreon, where I'm offering every month a new ebook with everything that we've covered in the past month, so you can have all the recipes with pictures and explanations at your fingertips like you would with a recipe book and you can refer back to them at any time instead of having to rewatch the videos. I think this is pretty useful. Link's gonna be in the description. So now if you guys are ready go grab your beakers and your apron because we're about to make some amazing syrups. Let's go. We're gonna start with a simple syrup today guys and you will see this one is simple but when you think about it it's the syrup that we use in like what 80 percent of the cocktails involving syrup so i think it is very important we get it right and for it i think there are important things to consider to make this one you're gonna need some water and that's the case for all the syrups we're gonna make today except for the grenadine so i'm not gonna mention it every time then you're also gonna need some granulated sugar and that's it all you have to do is to mix equal parts by weight of sugar and hot water then you simply mix until everything is dissolved. In case you're wondering why I'm using hot water instead of a heating source to make my syrups, it's just because I want to be precise. When you use a heating source to help you melting the sugar, chances are you're gonna get evaporation. And even if it's just a little bit of it, you're gonna mess with the balance of your syrup, and I hate that. Now, let's talk about the shelf life of this. For me, two to three weeks usually is perfectly fine for my simple syrup when I keep it in the fridge, but that depends on your situation. For example, if your bottle was not perfectly clean when you bottled your syrup, or if the kitchen was really hot when you took it out of the fridge to use it, these things can shorten the shelf life of your syrup. So just keep an eye on it. And if you see some particles or some mold forming in your bottle, just throw it away and don't take any chances. Now, I would like to point out that a lot of people believe that if you make a two to one ratio syrup, which is two parts of sugar for one part of water, your syrup becomes shelf stable, which is just half true. It is true that it has a longer shelf life, but in order to be really shelf stable, you need a brix of at least 71, which is 71 grams of sugar for 29 grams of water, which is more than a two to one ratio. And even if that's what you're making at home, you would still need to pasteurize the syrup and add some citric acid in there in order to be really shelf stable. So keep an eye on that still. And if you see some funky stuff happening in your bottle, well, just throw it away. Speaking of two to one syrup, also known as rich syrup, if you wanna do that at home, you simply use the same technique, but mix together by weight, two parts of sugar for one part of hot water. And from now on, on the channel, when I'm gonna be talking about simple syrup, it's gonna be my one to one ratio. And if I'm using something else, well, I'm just gonna mention it. Now let's make some honey syrup. You're gonna see that often in classic cocktails, so you need that in your arsenal. So to make it, what you're gonna need is honey. That's it. My favorite ratio for this one is three to one by weight. So all you have to do is to weigh three parts of honey for one part of hot water, mix until dissolve, bottle it up, and there you go. The perfect honey syrup for a delicious bee's knees and plenty other classic cocktails. Voila. Gum syrup is basically a rich syrup with the addition of some kind of an emulsifier. So it becomes really thick and it's perfect for cocktails that ask for just a small amount of sugar. Like the old fashioned, for example, even though you add just a little bit of sugar in there, with gum syrup, you're still gonna get a lot of texture. And it's gonna make a world of a difference. So to make it, you're gonna need a cashew root powder, also known as gum arabic, and sugar. Today I'm using the Marara sugar, which is less refined and it still has some molasses in there, so it's really tasty and it works really nicely with aged spirits. And since I'm using my gum syrup mostly for old fashions, I think this is the best for me, but you can also use regular granulated sugar if you want. So first, in a sealable jar, you're gonna add 22.5 grams of your acacia root powder and 25 grams of hot water. You're gonna mix until you get a smooth mixture and you wanna make sure you break the clumps. So if needed, use a spoon or whatever device that you want, but break those clumps. That's the only way you're gonna get a perfectly hydrate powder after your resting time. So once you're there, you're gonna close the lid of your container and leave that resting at room temperature for 12 hours. Then you're gonna add 180 grams of your chosen sugar and 
and over that you're gonna pour 65 grams of hot water. Like the other ones, you're gonna stir until it is perfectly dissolved, bottle it up, and this is how we make the delicious, thick, and luxurious gum syrup for the perfect old fashioned. If you wanna speed up the process, you can always use the sous vide technique. If you wanna know how to make it with that technique, I've already made a video about it, so I'm gonna link it up here. So now, let's make the orgeous syrup. This sweet almond and floral mixture is hands down the king of the tiki ingredients. And today we're gonna make it from scratch because I believe this is what yields the best result. And it is not so complicated after all. So what you're gonna need is blanched almonds, granulated sugar, orange blossom water, and bitter almond extract. You're gonna start by placing evenly in a baking sheet over parchment paper 50 grams of blanched almonds. Then you're gonna throw that in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius and leave them there for about 10 minutes. Always keep an eye on them because you don't wanna overcook them. As soon as you feel they're getting a little brownish, take them out of there. You're gonna add the almonds in a blender with 200 grams of warm water and blend at high speed for one minute. Then you're gonna filter the mixture through a nut milk bag, making sure to press enough to extract as much milk as possible. Then you're gonna weight your milk and for every 150 grams, you're gonna add two grams of orange blossom water. Next step, once again, in a blender, you're gonna add your sugar and you're gonna need the same amount by weight that you add milk. You're gonna close that, blend it until the sugar is dissolved and since your almond milk was warm, it shouldn't take more than one minute. Lastly, for bolder flavors, I'm gonna add a few drops of bitter almond extract, but be very careful with that. Some are extremely powerful like the one I'm using today. More than two drops would ruin a whole cup of syrup. So go one drop at a time, shake, give it a try and be careful but it makes a difference it makes it very tasty and i think it's an important step and there you go this is how we make the orgia syrup this will keep in the fridge for about two weeks and little pro tip or hack here if you don't want to go through the process of making the almond milk yourself if you want to go down the lazy route there's a way you can always buy almond milk just make sure that you buy unsweetened almond milk coming from roasted almonds that way you're gonna make yourself a pretty decent orgia syrup with very little effort lastly we're gonna make the beautiful grenadine another syrup used in many classic cocktails and i guarantee after you try the real stuff the good stuff for the first time you will never never go back to the disgusting neon red cheap syrup that you buy at the grocery store that shouldn't even be called grenadine because i'm sure they're not even using the fruit in their recipe but this is the real deal and you will see it is not even complicated to make what you're gonna need for the recipe is granulated sugar fresh pomegranate fruit pomegranate molasses, and orange blossom water. First step, I'm gonna slice my fruits and then using a potato ricer, I'm gonna juice them. Sometimes you will see people blending the seeds of the pomegranate to get the juice out, but I'm not a huge fan of that. Blending the seeds with the nut inside will get you some kind of a woody and tannin flavor. And while this may yield a larger amount of juice, this will also take away the freshness from the juice a little bit. And here in the grenadine, this is really what we're looking for. Fresh, bright, crisp, and flavorful. And squeezing the pomegranate is the best way to achieve that result. Then I'm gonna filter the juice. I'm using a nut milk bag, weight the juice and add the same amount by weight of sugar. Next, you're simply gonna stir until everything is dissolved. And here's my second tip to make the best grenadine ever. Do not heat anything. If you heat the juice to dissolve the sugar, you will take away so much freshness. It will not be as good, I guarantee. So my little pro tip, use pomegranate that were room temperature. That way it will dissolve the sugar quite easily. Then for every 250 ml of grenadine, you're gonna add three ml of orange blossom water and 30 ml of pomegranate molasses. You're gonna mix to incorporate and bottle it up. So there you go, my friends. This wraps things up for today's episode, the five essential cocktail syrups. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And before we use them all in upcoming cocktails, if you wanna know how to use the grenadine in five delicious classics, this video right here is still perfectly relevant. So my friends, this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you go to turn that bell if you wanna make sure not to miss the next video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon.